Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share a haul with you guys as well as an outfit of the day. Um, and also I got my haircut this weekend. I did not go to Paul Mitchell like I typically do. I did not feel like driving. It is a drive for me to get to Paul Mitchell. It's um, basically in Katy and it, it's a drive. And the other thing too is they take about three and a half hours to fix my hair when I'm at Paul Mitchell. I went to Visible Changes at my local mall and it took me an hour and a half. It was so quick and just it was nice. It was really nice. And since I was at the mall, I thought I would take advantage and go ahead and shop a little bit to fill in some gaps that I needed um, for my summer wardrobe. So I have no shoes. I have um, several shoes that I need to pick up just for summer, you know, sandals and some other stuff. But this is just pretty much my summer shopping in a nutshell. Um, it's not everything that I will, I will buy. I pick up things here and there. You guys know that. But this is kind of a large haul, which I really never haul large thing, you know, a lot. Um, typically it's my finds at Target or stuff like that. And I haven't found anything at Target lately that I like or that, you know, I have to have. So that's kind of a long shot. But anyway, I will share everything with you guys. This is my hair. It looks nice. I really do like it. Um, it's a little too PC right here, but that's my own fault. Alrighty. So first up, I had to get some shorts. Um, I'm wearing shorts almost every day now and I needed to at least incorporate a color or two. I'm looking for a pair of red shorts and I thought I would find them at Express, but I didn't find them there. Um, actually, I didn't find them anywhere I went. Anyhow, Express is having their end of season sale. I know it's backwards. I know that. I'm sorry. You guys know I do it for my benefit, not for yours. I, I apologize. Um, end of season sale at Express. So I went in there looking for shorts and I found some shorts. So picked up this pair of blue, they're cobalt blue shorts. They look, they're really neat and they have the cuffed bottom. And then here is the back. They're really, really nice and they have the two pockets. Um, and then the closure is just, you know, two, what are those things called? Catches and then a button and then the actual zipper. And the pockets are all functioning and I, I love, I like the fit of express shorts. I just like them. They are not super, super short. There's a good probably five inches right here worth of fabric. So I picked up these and I also picked up the pair that I have on, which are green. Let me show you guys. These are green. They're very pretty. Here's the back. This one has a little notch here and the actual closure is, there's three of these catches instead of just two. So the waistband is a little thicker than the blue pair. But the neat things about these shorts was they were on sale. They're originally $49.90. $49 I know that it's backwards and I'm so, so, so sorry. Then they were marked down to $29.99. And then from there, you know, I was expecting, okay, $40 for both shorts, $29.99. Well, closer to um, 60. Anyhow, so I get to the register to pay and she rings them up and they both ring up two for 10 or two for 20. So it was like, I paid like $27.99 for both pairs. Crazy, crazy, I know. And they're summer. I mean, look at the colors green. So they're summer shorts. I can't imagine them being an, you know, a seasonal end of season um, pair of shorts, but there you go. So $29.99 and then from there it was marked again, almost in half. Um, and I got them both for $27.99. So for $30, I got two pairs of shorts, which I could not have topped anywhere I had gone. Um, I, I had planned on going to The Gap and also to Banana Republic um, to look for shorts. And I didn't even need to go there to look for shorts anymore because I found two pairs that I liked at Express. Um, and I did go to The Gap to look anyway, and I didn't really find anything I wanted to begin with. So there's that. So both of those for $30. Okay, next up. I went to Forever 21, of course. I never go to the mall without going to Forever 21. So here's Forever 21. And my journey into there was because I was looking for basically this shirt with a black stripe. I want a black and white striped shirt, just a, you know, t-shirt, um, black and white stripe. But I don't want, if you find, you know, black and white stripes, you'll find a lot of black shirts with a thin white stripe or black and white stripes that are the same size. I want a 
black and white shirt that is more white than black with a thin black stripe. And that is so difficult to find everywhere. I went to Forever 21, The Gap, Banana Republic. Um, I looked at H&M. I looked at Amber Crombie, went in, you know, Express. I went everywhere. I even went into um, Chico's, which I never go into Chico's. And what is the other store owned by? Oh, Black and White Market, because I figured that has to have a black and white shirt. And they had a black shirt with white but then white stripes. So it was the opposite of what I wanted. And the lady was like, are you sure that's not what you want? And I said, no, it's, I want more white than black. And they thought I was crazy. And she looked at me like, okay. And it's just, you know, it's one of those little details that that's the shirt you want and that's it. Because I think a white shirt with black stripe looks a little bit more fresh than a black shirt with a white stripe, if that makes sense. It just looks to me, it looks fresher. Um, it's a lot cooler for the summer. It's not as warm as an all black shirt with a white stripe would be. Anyhow, I know I'm getting very technical. I know, you know, the lady there was like, well, you're very particular. And I said, yeah, you know, I mean, that's, that's the shirt I want. Um, I found a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of navy blue, white with navy blue stripe. And I know it could pass for black. And I actually picked one up somewhere, but I want a black and white one. Anyhow, so went into Forever 21 looking for that. And I found a mint blouse. You guys know that I told you guys I needed something in mint because I needed to fill in a gap that I had um, with the mint thing, especially after I did that challenge last week. I realized I didn't have very much mint. And I was also looking for a nice coral necklace, which I didn't find either. Um, but I will show you guys this. This is the mint blouse that I picked up at Forever 21. And it's really, really pretty. It's just a blouse. It's got a simple zipper in the back. And then it's got, let me show you, this, which is, let's get this out of the way, offset. You guys see this? It's got a pleat right here, but it's not centered. It's offset a little bit, so it's really, really pretty. And one of my biggest shopping things, or shopping things, shopping rules, is when you buy a shirt like this that is completely see-through, or that you're going to have to wear an undergarment or a camisole underneath, my biggest rule for myself, and I would tell anybody this is anytime you buy a shirt like this make sure make sure you have something to wear underneath it because you will get it home and it will sit it will just sit in your closet until you get that camisole or something to wear underneath it or until you realize you need that a year later you know and you've never worn it so whenever I buy anything like this I always 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 look for whatever I need to wear underneath if I have it at home then I know I don't need it but sometimes you know you, you have to fill in that gap so Forever 21 is great for this though, because you know, you find these cute little shirts. This was 1780. You find these cute little shirts or blouses that are see-through like that, and they always have a camisole that matches. They have a whole line of just these plain, sweetheart, don't do that, please. Plain camisoles that look like this. They're just simple, simple, simple. And this is the exact same shade, so it will work perfectly. I have this black and white. Uh, black, white, and gray, and cream, and pink. I mean, I have it in so many shades now. And these are $2.80. As I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. $2.80 for a camisole. And it's just simple, you know. You can wear it with anything, really. Um, I could wear that mint blouse with a cream one underneath also, and it would look really pretty, but I wanted a, a mint green one. So then, as I was shopping I found these shorts which I needed shorts anyway I you know figured I wanted I was looking for something that had a print and these are the ones that I picked up and they are navy with a white polka dot really really cute they have a zip that zips up they've got two pockets on the side and then they have this tie that ties around the belt which I like because you can either no you can either wear or um, not wear so you can either you know wear it tied or not wear it tied and they are cuffed right here so that's really pretty and what I like about these is look how cool they look with this top and this top is a white with a pink stripe but look I like the way that the patterns mix together I really do I love that so there's that one. Oh, and this was where are you Fifteen oh, eighty. So there's that one, and that's all from Forever 21. And then, since I was looking for striped blouses, or striped tops, I found this one at Banana Republic. They have it in this color, and also in a yellow stripe, an orange stripe, and a navy blue stripe. And it's just a boat neck, simple boat neck, 
key uh, that I tucked in, of course, but it's you know really pretty. So there's that one. I don't remember how much because I took the price tag off already. So of course I won't remember. Okay. Next up, I walked into Abercrombie, and I love I love Abercrombie. I love their clothing, but they have these skirts that I've been looking at for a while. I thought I would pick one up. Now, if any of you guys know what Abercrombie smells like, please tell me because I can still smell it. And I know, I guess it's got to be their perfume, but I'm not exactly sure which one. Their clothes smell like it. My bag smells like Abercrombie. It just smells so good. I love the way it smells. Okay. So this is the skirt. I love the cut of these skirts. They are really, really darling. They've got pleats everywhere and they're really full. You can see how, you know, it's got like an underskirt, but it poofs it out a little bit. So it looks really pretty, especially, you know, it gives you kind of a tiny waist and then it flares so it can conceal hips or thighs or anything like that, but it gives you just a really nice shape. And I love these in the summer. Um, this one, was originally 50 and then it was 39.90 marked down to 39.90 from there and then from there it was even marked down 40% um, off so i got it for 25.99 25 i want to say 25.99 um, but really great and they had it in you know this color they had it in a check like a black and white check a blue and white check and also navy blue lace and a white lace i wanted the railroad stripe though this is so beachy and just summer summer, you know, pattern. It's just a, a beautiful summer pattern, that railroad stripe. So that's what I picked up from there. Love it. And um, when you purchased this weekend, you got a 40% off on any regular priced item that you can use and sometime in the next two weeks, which I'm really excited for because I've wanted an Amber Crombie hoodie for some time, but they're like $60. So I think I'm going to use that to get a hoodie. I just have to decide. I'm probably going to get a navy blue one because that's just me and it's preppy um, and I like navy blue and white but I'm not sure might be cream might do cream instead but probably navy okay okay so that's what I picked up there then I went to H&M okay Did I tell you I went to banana yes okay went to H&M because I had to you know I had to I've been holding off going into that store and I finally ventured in so no no Okay, so here is H&M, and this is where I found, I found this, of course. I found a black and white one, but they only had like size 10, which was extremely large when I tried it on. So their sizes are confusing. I honestly, they're super confusing. So this is the white with a navy blue stripe, which I would love this exact shirt in black, but this navy is dark, dark. So I might be able to pair it with things I want to pair it with, even though it's navy. Um, but this one, and then a white one, and they came together as a set, a white one, just a plain white t-shirt, and they're stretchy, and they fit really nice, and they were, both of them were $12.95, because they have sets, so that's that, and then this skirt, which I think is so pretty, and it is, it has no tag, oh, great, it has no tag on it, that's just wonderful. Okay, well here it is. It's got some strings hanging off the bottom that I need to snip. But it is a fuchsia with kind of a darker pink on top. Um, but a cute skirt for the summer. It's got lots of layers, so it's not exactly see-through. Um, but this one, I want to say it was $24.95. I'm not exactly sure. The price tag has been removed. And this one is a size 4, and it's the weirdest, I mean... I don't know, like in Express, you'll, you can see that my shorts are size 2. Most other brands are also size 2 also. I know there's like vanity sizing or whatever, so maybe I'm only really a 4 or 6. In H&M, I am a 4. I can't even get the 2s up my thighs. And even the 4s are really snug. And the lady there said, well, yeah, they're made for skinny Swedish women, so you're going to have to size up at least a size or 2. And I do believe that because it was, yeah, I could... I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's crazy sizing. Okay, and then I saw this and it was on the $10. It was $24.95 originally. It was on the $10 rack. And I'm not exactly sure that I will wear it. It's just a see-through button down. Well, that I will wear it as a blouse, maybe with a capsule underneath. I'm not exactly sure. But I think it would make a great cover-up for the pool. Because it's just so long and it goes, look, it goes all the way. It's like a long tunic, all the way down. So I think it would be a great cover-up. 
um, or you know I can tuck it in as a blouse or something but it's got this like tunic cut slit down here so that's great for 10 bucks I can I don't know I can pass it up and then this ring which I found that I absolutely look at how pretty this is isn't that gorgeous it's got like a black rock in there with a gold ring and it was $7.95 and it was so pretty and they had a, about 12 different rings that I was looking at and this was the only one that I was like wow that is so pretty I have to have it and it's a small and it fits there I have very skinny fingers so I have a hard time when I buy rings sometimes they only fit my middle finger or my, my um, index fingers but this one fits perfectly here it's a little loose but it fits nicely so there's that one and lastly I no. Had munchkin shopping to do. Um, my both my kids needed new swimsuits. I'll show you. Let me show you Eva's old swimsuit. Okay, this is her old swimsuit. This is the top, and my husband hates this. He hates it. He's like, her stomach is showing. She's wearing a bikini. I don't like that. She needs to cover up. Well, this she finally got so kind of tall. She's really really got long legs and a long torso. So this started hitting her, and you could see her chest. Um, and my husband was like, that's embarrassing. You need to take it off. But she plays in our backyard um, in her little pool in this. And he was just always you know, really embarrassed about it. So he's like, hey, she needs a new swimsuit. And this is a four. It's a four T. Um, and this is the bottom. And he was always more comfortable with this because it covers your booty a little. So we went to H&M, and there was this really cute, it was a one piece, and I was gonna get it for her. It, was, it had Minnie Mouse on the front, and she loved it. But it, they only had like size six to eight, and she's really, really skinny. The length would have fit her, but she's so skinny that it wouldn't, it wouldn't stay on her. Um, so we got her another kind of, it's like a tankini. Uh, but this is the H&M size four to six years. And here's the bottom. It's just a really pretty, she liked the flower. She likes flower design, so she liked that. And we let her, of course, pick because it's her swimsuit. But here's the top. And it was $11.95, which is really pretty cute, really good. Um, but there's the top, and then it's got, you know, just the back. But my husband's a little bit, he, he likes this better. He's like, okay, it covers her stomach, so that's fine. Um, which, you know, it looks really cute on her, too. And my, my daughter's a fish. She is always in the swimming pool in the, in the summer. And any opportunity she has to go swimming anywhere if we are at somebody else's house and they tell her it's okay for her to go swimming she will get in the pool with her clothes on fully clothed it's, it's crazy we were at my mom's beach house um about two weekends ago and she had a cough so i was determined not to let her get into the pool because i thought that that would just you know make her sicker well she okay just my feet mommy i'll just stand on the top step so she gets in on the top step and i said don't go anymore don't go any further she's like oh and she's kicking the water and you know so then i said okay eva it's time to get out because i can't trust you i know you're gonna dunk yourself no i'm fine i'm just playing in the water and she's playing in the water and then i get a towel to help dry her off and she's like she starts going down a little by little and my mom is like your mom said no you better not get in that pool and eva just goes like this really quick and dunks herself under the water and comes up she's wearing a dress and everything and i'm like eva i mean I told you no. She was in. She was in really big trouble. You know, she, I was mad at her. My mom was mad at her. My husband was really mad at her. She was in timeout. I mean, she was in major trouble. But you know, we were all astonished by her. The just drive that she has. You know, the even though you're telling me no, I'm gonna do this anyway. You know, the the defiance. We were just like, oh my gosh, seriously. It, it took it took me aback because I was just like you know she usually listens very well and, and I don't really have um, problems getting her to do something uh, when I tell her not to and she was just determined she is a fish so that and then my son actually needed a swimsuit he hasn't had one because last year he was what was he like three or four months in the summer and we would just put him in the pool um, <laughs> this is this is gonna sound bad but without a diaper you know I mean it we're at our family pool so it's not like we're out in public anywhere but we would just put them in there um naked so this year we got them um, a diaper i mean a diaper a pair of swim trunks and these are the ones from h&m they, these were 7.95 and these are 6 to 12 months and they fit him pretty nicely so i think he'll be able to wear them the entire 
summer because he's getting he's getting a little chunky um, but he gets kind of chunky before he stretches a little bit so I think he'll get a little taller and thin out but they're cute and he actually looks really really good in these blues he looks really good in blues <sighs> so that is that that is everything that I purchased and I'm going to show you my swimsuit because I get questions as to what my swimsuit is and here it is it's a Old Navy no, it's Mossimo swimsuit from Target. And here's the bottom. I just really like the pattern. The pattern is like a blue and a white. And then these are turquoise or turquoise clasp. But there's that. And my top, because you guys know I, I am not a bikini person. I just cannot do bikini. So it's a tankini. That's the top. And then this part that comes over my stomach, which I like to be concealed. And I actually just ordered a new swimsuit too, because Here's that. Um, I wanted something that was low cut in the back because I don't like to show my stomach off, but I actually do like my back. So the one I ordered, it's a tank, you know, full mallet swimsuit, um, black, but it's got a very low back, which I'm excited, I'm excited for. So hopefully that'll come sometime. Oh, and since I have them all here because I had to wash them and I'm a big proponent, I will wash my swimsuits in the um, washing machine. I will wash them on a quick wash just to rinse all the chlorine and everything off. But I won't dry them, so they get dried on my counters. They just get laid out. But here's my husband's. It's a Speedo. It's just a pair of red <laughs> swim trunks. But they're the Speedos. And he'll always say, oh, I'm gonna, we're going to go swimming. i got to put my Speedos on. And people are like, oh, my gosh, he's got Speedos. Well, yeah, he has a pair of Speedos. I think he did that on purpose. Anyhow, so that is the haul. And I will show you guys a quick outfit of the day. I'm sorry. I know this is long. Here's my outfit. And just a pair of green shorts from Express, the pink and white striped shirt from Banana Republic, my um, tan luggage Tory Birch flats, and my normal wedding rings, earrings, and this bracelet, which I am in love with. Isn't that pretty? It's like a matte silver. This is from MR Chic, from the two lovely ladies at MR Chic. Marisol and Rocio. Um, they're also two opinions on YouTube, and then they have a website, MR Chic, that sells jewelry. And this is a piece. They actually sent me four bracelets. I, I um, got them in the mail last week. Four bracelets as a belated uh, birthday present. So thank you so much, ladies. And I actually will feature those bracelets in another video. I'm just wearing this one now. But they sent me a silver, a silver one like this, a matte silver, and then kind of a darker silver, and a matte gold and a shiny gold and they are so awesome i wore them all weekend long the two golds i doubled and they look so pretty um, but this one which and they are on their website they are two for 35 dollars, and you get to choose the tones the colors that you want and the finishes so that's that and then it has kind of like a lobster a large lobster which is nice i love that they did something so substantial on this bracelet because it's it makes it so much easier you just kind of you know open it like this to get it on it makes it so much easier to put on and it just looks it looks nice you know on your wrist so there is that and I will link their website down below but like I said I will show you guys all four of these in another video um, these this is the one I'm wearing today which I really really do like so thank you so so much for that it was really unexpected I was like oh my gosh are you kidding um, so there's that and then on my face I just have on some Smashbox eyeshadows in my crease, um, there it's a brown. I know they have names, and I can't think of the names of them. I'll have to, I have to find them. But they're Smashbox, and then a Smashbox blush, and a Smashbox. Oh my gosh, I used all Smashbox, and of course I don't know the name. It's a set that my husband got me for Christmas last year, and it doesn't really. I don't think it distinguishes all the names. I will show them to you guys though in the video where I discuss the bracelets. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.